They take a ton of damage. This guy's a porcupine dick right now and he's still going. What's up guys and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now today guys, we are gonna be looking at some more of the new campaign. We're gonna be doing the desert levels and we're gonna be doing some more sandbox screwing around because I wanna have some more big team battles. I want to try out some more of the new units and see how they interact with each other. There's just so much to do in this game since the update. I'm absolutely loving it. And I'm happy to see that you guys are loving it too. People have been really enjoying tabs on the channel. So thank you guys so much for that. I absolutely love playing it, love recording it. Cannot wait to see what we're gonna manage to do today. Level six, shields and footmen. Okay, so you guys told me last time that I was a little bit incorrect in saying that the shieldmen are really good against all range units. Apparently the muskets can shoot through their shields. And I don't know if that's true or not. I kind of want to test that out. So what if we just buy a whole whack of musketeers and uh, a couple of peasants to put up at the front as cannon fodder, okay? Now, I need to give a very important pep talk to the team, okay? Guys, it's very important that you shoot the blue guys and not the red guys, okay? Okay, there you go. They didn't hit a single red guy. Way to go team. No, no, not, not like this. <laughs> Not like this. I thought that the pep talk was gonna work. I really thought that we got through to them, but it just, it doesn't work. I swear the muskets are absolute glue sniffers. I'm kind of curious to see what the Huacha can pull off. We haven't really used them in the campaign before. So what if we do the Huacha and a whole bunch of peasants? They might be able to rain down all ungodly hell. Yeah, right? Kind of? I think they did a ton of work. They all get back up. Why are you shooting like nerf darts? I don't understand. <laughs> they all ate a bunch of arrows, they fell over, and now you guys are leaving it up to the peasants to finish them off. Damn it. So what if we just go with like a lot of units, like a lot of good units? I kinda wanna do some Vikings, and then what if we just do a whole bunch of farmers as well in like a, a battle V? Want to kind of pull that back a little bit. I don't want to go too far north though because there's rocks up here, right? So if we could do something like this and kind of flank them. There we go, that's much better. So we're gonna have the Vikings charge in down the middle and the footmen down the side. And I really just need to come out on top of this first encounter. That's the biggest thing because I think the shieldmen should not be able to handle themselves 1v1. I say that, but stuff always goes wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go, you see? I knew that we had the units, everything was good, even though they're dumb as bricks. Guys, why are your, all your weapons just interlocked? <laughs> you don't need to support each other like this. This is not the kind of team building that I wanted. There we go, sticking with the pointy end. We got it? I think we got it. He's gotta go down too. Yeah, there we go. Okay, finally. That took way too many tries for the first level of the episode. Level seven, archers, cannons, footmen, shields. Well then, they seem to actually be forming like armies now rather than single unit hordes. How do I approach that? I mean, I automatically want to go towards the wobbly horse, but the desert isn't very good for it. There's a lot of hills, there's a lot of rocks and stuff like that. So maybe we will go for, I like the ballistas. What if we go with a couple of ballistas and then with our 400 extra money, we can get some farmers to clear out the rest. As long as the ballistas hit anything, we should be fine, right? Yo, oh yeah, go for the cannon. Hit the cannon though, that'd be good. Or the shield guys, hit anything. No, don't hit. Okay, when I said hit anything, I didn't mean all the red guys. I cannot catch a break when it comes to friendly fire, I swear. <laughs> but we're doing, ooh, we're doing pretty well because these stupid range units can't reach my ballista very well, but they can reach them. Ah, uh, no, oh crap. Go for, go for the cannon, you. Did you just shoot him? I wanna see that again in slow motion because I'm pretty damn sure that my unit killed my only other unit. Oh my God, this game is absolutely brutal. Is there like an option menu to turn off friendly fire or something like that? Because I can't handle it anymore. Oh, what is good against these guys? I wanna try more archers. I feel like archers are really good now. They're just, they, they used to suck, so they have a bad rap. We'll go with some archers and some, oh. Okay, we'll go with less archers and uh, and some footmen to kind of get in there. That look okay? Yeah, and, and, and a couple peasants for cannon fodder. <laughs> Always cannon fodder. What just happened to you? 
do you just jump off a trampoline or something? You, you need your sword, you idiot. I shouldn't make fun of the guy. His arm is clearly broken and he's still running into battle valiantly without a weapon. Kudos to you, sir. This is going mediocre at best. The archers are actually getting something done, but they're getting knocked down like bowling pins. There we go, there we go. Okay, we got all the units out of the way. We just need to move forward. Can you guys, okay, can you guys please, come on. Snipe, snipe, snipe. No snipe. It's times like these when I ask myself, what about a whole bunch of spearmen? Because I just, I can't get a good composition. It's just not happening. So we're just gonna drop all these guys in the battle and you guys are just gonna charge. No ranged units, no waiting around, no bullshit. We're just gonna get in there with your giant pointy sticks and hit them with the right end. Go, go over there, go get the cannon guy. Yes, yeah, don't, no, no, don't. You don't need that body. You don't need to take him with you. There you go, let him die. You don't even have a spear. He just hugged him to death. <laughs> that was amazing! Oh my god, that was great. Oh, right, I think we're, we're doing well, right? Yes! Yes! Valiant hero! He took a giant arrow right in the kidney, but he took out that cannon. That's what matters most. I think we're good. Okay, you... Mm. Yeah, this archer's gonna put up a fight. Can you get in there? You think you're gonna make the... No, damn it! You can't get them all, guy. You can get some, but you can't get them all. I'm tell... Oh, well, mm, he might be able to get them all. If you could just stop getting caught up on crap, your, your allies... Oh my god. This one archer. This one archer is shooting 100%. You're kidding me! Why is it when I get ranged units, they can't hit shit? And if they do hit shit, it's my team. But they get the Robin Hood of archers. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, we're going with the most overpowered units I can think of, spearmen and poachers. That way, even if we do get left with a couple of ranged units, it won't even matter. So you guys can just stick it to all of them. Man, the poachers are overpowered. <laughs> like, look at these guys. They're just littered with arrows that are the size of pool cues. We got a cannon and we're moving forward. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just get, get the archers, get the archers. There you go. No, no. One, we got one. Please, please hit him. Please hit him. Why are you missing so much? Finally. <laughs> Again, I don't get the Robin Hoods. They do. But I think we should be be good, right? We should be good. Please hit him. Please, please hit him. Thank you. Got there. Level eight, cannons and muskets. Ooh, that's different. Only ranged units. We haven't seen that before, have we? I think this is when I really want to try out the Vikings because I've been talking about the Vikings and their shielding abilities. So let's see if they can actually make up the distance without getting shot. I mean, they're not going to stop a cannonball, don't get me wrong. And they're also not going to help you get over a rock because you guys are idiots. But we should be able to close that distance and then start hatcheting people. Maybe? Probably? Maybe not. You have the turning radius of a Buick. Come on, dude, get in there. Please. But the cannon guys are killing themselves. They're doing all the work. That's it, just run between them. They'll shoot, e they'll shoot each other. <laughs> I'll give it up. The Vikings, you know, they're mediocre in power, but they're damn smart. They always manage to turn the enemy unit on themselves. I don't think there's any way to avoid those giant cannonballs and the musketeer's aim is kind of crap. So maybe we should just try a whole lot of units. Like what if we just try a bunch of spread out barbarians? They need to be really spread out because I don't want them to all get hit by the same cannonballs. So they're gonna come in in waves like this, just scattered all over the place. That, that might work, okay? Just get them with your giant billy clubs, guys. <laughs> there's so many of them. Yeah, you see the cannonballs just go right through them. It's ingenious, it's the Swiss cheese formation. They're making up the ground. Oh my God, this actually worked flawlessly. <laughs> There's so many of them left. You can't shoot everywhere, right? And then when they do shoot, they miss. Oh, it feels good to apply strategy. Level nine, Spearman, Footman, and Ballistae. Oh, that sounds like quite the strong army if I do say so. We do have 3,000 money though, actually, so I might be able to make this work. I don't know what really counteracts Ballistae though. I think I just want to go with a whole lot of units to kind of close the distance very quickly. Seems to be working well. So what if we do like um, a bunch of Vikings and a bunch of Samurai and a bunch of Footmen? We can have like all of the uh, Age of Mythology races get in there. And then what else do we want? I think Archers, they're, they're pretty good. I want to keep things like a little bit spaced out because the Ballistae are gonna blow our asses up. That that looks good. We're gonna give that a try. Nice mixed army, and what the hell happened to that guy? Where'd he go? Did he just fall off the world? I think he did. 
<laughs> We're already down a unit. The battle hasn't even started. All of the units kind of traded, but I have all of my archers left and they're doing pretty, well, kind of good work. <laughs> like I said, the biggest thing is they need to close the distance and get that ballista. And that's a lot easier said than done because he's shooting bigger arrows. We did it though. Finally, I got my own Robin Hood. And level 10, farmers, footmen, spearmen, and chicken man. Oh, that's cool. So this is the final level of the original campaign, I guess. That was the only time that we had seen the chicken man. So we need to try to find a way to take out a chicken man. That that wasn't very easy, especially with only 2,000 money. What if we try... I don't know. I guess we could try archers in the back again because they did a pretty good job. And then in the front, we can do another mixed army of units. I feel like having a little bit of everything does go a long way in helping out. So we could do a bunch of them, bunch of them, bunch of Vikings, and then pray, pretty much. Pray to the rock humping gods. All right, guys, here we go. So please, everybody cooperate and focus on the guy pooping out chickens. That's very important. I know that you guys probably haven't been trained for that, but it is crucial that you do not let too many chickens form. He's such a stupid unit. I absolutely love it though. He he literally just poops out whole chickens and then they roll around and just dominate the battlefield. This is not going well. Archers, you guys got a lot of work to do. They're getting stuck on the rock though. That's what we want to see. They, we, they are trying to pray to the, the rock humping gods. We already did. Yes, yes, hit him. Oh, is he dead? He looks kind of dead. He's dead. No! No, they, they did. They they prayed to the rock humping gods and the chickens are, no. <laughs> that is so bullshit. If my forward units are gonna be complete garbage, then I might as well just upgrade to more archers because they're the only ones actually doing anything. So we're gonna send in a whole bunch of cannon fodder and they're gonna slow things down until, until these guys shoot each other because I may have placed them a little bit too close together, but just shoot everybody. Shoot everything, it doesn't matter. Again, focus on the guy in the uh, brown trench coat. That would be helpful. A and maybe the giant rolling death chickens. Oh, yes, yes, hit him. Yeah, got him, right in the head. You don't need to kill the chickens. I'm gonna admit these levels are getting a whole lot harder. I would have not expected this campaign to be such a challenge. I'm looking forward to the winter levels next episode. But for now, I wanna move on to some sandbox and I have a great big battle in mind after watching all of those chickens face off against all of those archers. And I, I feel like it's pretty fitting. So I'm gonna call this one the poached egg challenge. 1,000 poachers versus 36 chicken men men. The poachers look awesome in their formation. I absolutely love that part of this game when you can get enough units to make a real formation and here come the giants and they're starting to poop out their chicken men and they're just tearing through them. The offspring don't even matter. It looks like they're actually like swimming through the forces. I can't tell if the poachers are dying or not though. They, they're probably not doing too well because I don't see any dead chicken men men. Lots of flying arrows. <laughs> they just like swam through them. They just stomped through. And that's one thing that I'm really curious about is do the chicken men men actually like kill units by kicking them and stuff like that? Because it sure looks like it. And if those poachers aren't dead already, they will be with the number of chickens that are coming. I honestly thought this was gonna be a close battle or like even in the favor of the poachers because we've seen them arranged units take down the chicken men men the most efficiently, but this wasn't even a battle once again. For the second time, my 1000 unit big battle was just a slaughter pretty much. I mean, it looks like it's snowing. There's so many chickens out here. <laughs> and it's to the point now where the chicken men men are celebrating. They're like running off with each other and hugging and Oh, that was ridiculous. Can we watch that in fast motion? I would love to see a melee unit like the Chicken Man Man that was only used for throwing around little units because that's what it looks like. It looks like they're actually swimming through them and tearing through them and kicking them and stuff. It's awesome. This was such a cool battle regardless. You can see all the arrows flying around, but the poachers just don't stand a chance. Like there's more chickens than poachers at this point. I'm really curious now. So what if we try one chicken man man and he faces off against a whole bunch of peasants, like to the point where I'll still have some kind of frame rate. Yeah, I think medium is about right, but I wanna see if he's actually gonna kick over the units. And it's like I said, I know that he doesn't actually pick them up, but it would be cool if he picked them up and threw them kind of thing. You see units flying around all the time in this game. It'd be cool if that was actually a mechanic. Like I always felt that it was the offspring and then the offspring's offspring that does the most damage, but he does get a little tripped up in them. 
But I can't tell. No, like when he kicks somebody, yeah, they die. They, they super die. <laughs> I don't think it's direct. But yeah, that guy did not get hit by a chicken. He got kicked by this giant googly-eyed bastard. I think the Chicken Man Man is definitely my favorite unit in this game. He's just so ridiculous. So I want to kind of see what would happen if we face off a bunch of archers against three Chicken Man Men, but not too many archers, because I do know that they can take them down. But I'm curious if we can actually manage with like relatively few archers. In reality, that's like 1500 worth of units. And this is way, 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 way less. So if you guys just focus on the dick, that's right. You want to focus in the groinal area. You've already gotten rid of his pupils. That's a good start. And, uh, oh boy, yeah, the offspring are coming. They take a ton of damage. This guy's a porcupine dick right now, and he's still going. I thought it would be enough archers, but not quite. Second layer of archers. My performance is getting significantly worse, but it'll be worth it. So once again, guys, remember, don't shoot your allies. Shoot them in the dick. I don't know why they don't go for headshots, but they really do focus on that, like, mid-region. If you guys take down at least one, I'll be pretty happy. But you're filling them, and they're not going down. I don't understand. Why won't you die? Die! Yes! There goes one! The giant falls! That was that was almost good if it wasn't for these like gravity-defying chickens just running rampant. <laughs> they look more like ducks. Here's one that I didn't try during my Chicken Man Man episode. I'm curious if the cannon crews and the catapults can take him down. Because they aren't like super accurate, and I don't know how much damage they actually do. But if they can manage to actually load into the game right way up and not kill each other. <laughs> God, you guys, come on. Oh, you're kind of tripping them up, though. That's a lot of boulders. <laughs> yes, just pepper him. There you go. Push him back. It's kind of working. He's, he looks like he's trying to swim upstream. Just take him out at the knees. This is, this is actually awesome. Why didn't I do this before? Come on. I actually believe that they can do it. Oh. Okay, bull, bull, he didn't fall. I call shenanigans, he's on strings. Who's the puppet master of this monstrosity? I demand to know. The catapults are doing a great job keeping down the offspring though. I don't think any chickens have really gotten up here yet. Just the chicken man man, the head honcho. And he is just not, he's not falling, he's not. They did it! That was awesome. That's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And I have so much freaking fun playing this game. I know I say it every time, but I, I really want to say it just to say thank you guys, because these videos do really well on the channel. They're some of my most watched videos now. And that's great because I get to make videos that you guys enjoy and I get to absolutely love making them. I have so much fun playing this game because it's just so silly and stupid and fun to commentate over. So thank you guys so much for watching and liking the videos and I can't wait to see what else this game has to offer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. I know that I'm technically gnome, but can I be frank for a second? You are naked and we're on a date. We're both completely alone. That's sending a pretty strong signal. So if I ask you if I can stay the night, are you going to be an absolute loon and freak out at me again?